talk about something. I don't know if you guys have seen this before. You, you I think in math one, you should have learned this in math one, but I don't know if you guys did this in math one in middle school, but this was done in math one and um, at Oxnard High School. But we're going to talk about here. Sequence and series. Sequence and series. Now, there's a lot going on here, so I broke the homework up into two different parts. Okay, I broke the homework up into two different parts. We're going to talk about sequence and series. We're going to do page 362 through 3 through 55 odd, but we're only going to do 3 through 55 odd today. We're just going to go up to number, we're going to have mapped out here. We're going to go up to number 29. So we'll try to go up to try to do up to 29 today. We're going to do up to 29 today. Okay, so what is a sequence? So what are sequence and series? So a sequence, we're going to talk about sequence today. Sequence is an order list of numbers. Write this down. Okay. Now, it's an order list of numbers that follow a pattern. You have to follow a pattern. Okay. Now, we can have a finite sequence. Finite sequence. Which basically means it ends. It ends, or we can have an infinite sequence. Which means it doesn't end, it goes on forever. Okay, I'll get out of the way. It goes on forever. Okay, so an example of a sequence it's just an order list of numbers. I'll let you guys write that down. We'll write some examples of a sequence. Like here would be an example of a sequence. Sorry, I'm in the way. An example of a sequence can be like two, four, six, eight, and then I can keep predicting. This is an infinite because the dots means it goes on forever, right? Can you guys see, am I frozen? Am I frozen? Shoot. Could you even see what I was writing there? Brianna, were you able to see what I was writing there or was I frozen? You can see it. Okay, so okay, so you guys can see that. So I don't need a pause, Brianna. Do I need a pause or did it just come up? Wait, what? Pause? Huh? What did you say? Should I pause or do you need more time? Do you need more time or are we good? I'm good. All right. I was wondering, so I guess I'm assuming you guys can see it, according to Brianna. If you're late in class and didn't call roll, you got to stay after class, okay? Camila, I just saw you come in, right? You're here, right, Camila? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, so stay after class because I have you marked absent and I'll forget. I forget things like this because I'm an old man. I'm old. But I'm not that old, but I'm kind of old. Almost 50. Not quite yet, I'm 47. My wife's 48 though. Older women, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, here we go. So a finite sequence, right? Oh, let me ask you. So this, can you tell me what the next number is gonna be? Melissa, what's my next number gonna be? 10. 10, because it's a sequence. It has an order, right? If it, if it has no order, it's not a sequence. You can easily tell it's going to be 10, then 12, then 14, blah, 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 up till forever. So uh, um, 
like a finite sequence could be like this. 3, 6, 12, and then 24. And then it stops. No dot, finite sequence. It's going to stop. And you can see, what am I doing to these numbers? Can you see, tell me what the pattern is? What is the pattern? Kenji, can you tell me what the pattern is for this one? What's my pattern? Times two. Yeah, you're doubling it. Yep, very good. Now, finally, the last sequence, like that goes on forever. You go one, four, nine, sixteen, and you have dot 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 dot. That's an infinite sequence because it has the dots. It shows it goes on forever, forever. Okay, are there any questions? We'll talk about series tomorrow. Actually, I'll tell you what a series is. I'll tell you what the series is. A series, sequence and series. So I have this. I'm going to erase this. Can I erase it? I'm going to erase it in 10 seconds unless someone says. Five, four, three, two, Okay, so a series, dude in red, a series. Okay, so a sequence is an ordered pair. A series is a sum of the sequence. Okay, so basically, well, we all know what sum means, right? Uh, Anthony, your camera's off. So tell me what a sum, what does sum mean, Anthony? Say that again. That again. That again. If you say, say that again, I'll say it. That again. All right, Anthony, answer my question. Um, it's like when you mean? get, when you... Add what two things stuff? together. What? When you add stuff together, that's what you get. Yeah, it's just add them up, right? So basically, I just add the series up. So if I have a series two, four, six, eight, that's the series. Then the sequence will be 20. Because two plus four plus six plus eight is 20. It's the other way around. What? You wrote series is two, four, six, and then the sequence is 20. Oh, yeah, that's what I meant. The series, the sequence is two, four, six, eight. The sequence is two, four, six, eight, but the series, because you add them up. Sorry about that. Thank you. I don't even know who said that. Whoever corrected me, you should be paid. I owe you money because I'm getting paid right now and you're not. But you should be because you corrected me. Bam. What's up? What's up? Boy. What's up? What's up? What's up? Boy. Boy. Flavor Flav. You guys ever heard of Flavor Flav? He's the one that goes, yeah, boy. Cassandra, have you ever heard of Flavor Flav? No. Well, he's a guy, he says, yeah, boy. He wears a clock. He's a rapper. Rapper guy wears a clock. Hip hop. Anyway, all right. Let's do number three. 
Compare sequence and series. You guys do that on your own. I just wrote the definition down. Number three, you compare the sequence and series. Write that on your own. Let's move on. I told you what it is. Sequence and series. Sequence is the pattern, order pair. The series is where you add up the pattern. Okay, so number five, write the first six terms of the sequence. Okay, so they want you to write, you guys, look, let's, should I, I fear I should present. You guys see number, can you guys see number five? I don't know, let's look, let's look at the instructions. Oh, my phone keeps blowing up. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, pow. Okay, number five. Okay, number five. Write the first six terms of the sequence. So here's my sequence. I want to write the first five terms. Okay, so these the terms are like, well, let's explain what a term, a term are the numbers of the sequence, right? So here we go. I'm going back. So the first five terms, blink, blink. Okay, the first five terms of the sequence. Okay, so now here's my number three, uh, number five, sorry, number five. I have A to the N means arithmetic equals N plus two. Okay, so arithmetic means it's going to, um, in, you'll see. I'll see, explain what arithmetic means in just a second. So we want to figure out the first five, ter six terms of the sequence. So all you have to do Okay, let's call this N. Okay, write this table out. This is how you do the first six terms. Okay. Now let's label the term. This is going to be my first term. This will be my second term. This will be my third term, fourth term, fifth term, and then sixth term. So what's my first term going to be? My first term, what is my first term? Where n equals one. Well, that means I'm gonna take my equation and write, instead of a, of n, I'll write 1 plus 2, which is 3. My first term is 3. What's my second term? That means I put a 2 where the n is. My second term is 2 plus 2, which is 4. What's my third term? I think you guys get the idea. It's 3 plus 2, which is 5. What's my fourth term? 6 seven, eight. Okay, so th that's it. That's all I have to do to find the first six terms. Now, these are my terms. My term, my term, first term is three, second term is four, third term is five, six, seven, eight, blah, 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 blah. Now, notice that each term I increase, go to the next one, by a addition. If I increase by addition, it is, hang on a second, I want to make sure I write it correctly. It is arithmetic. A R I T H M E T I C. So that's the definition. See how these increase plus one, plus, if it increased by plus two, plus three, plus four, if these increase by addition, it's called an arithmetic sequence. Okay. So I'm going to move on. I'm trying to find the more difficult ones. Uh, let's see.
I'm gonna do third. I'll do the first and last. I'm gonna do thirteen. I'm gonna do five. You do the rest. I'm gonna do thirteen since it's the hardest one. Okay, on that series, I'll do thirteen. So I'm gonna race this in ten seconds. Does anyone need this? Speak now. Five, four, three, two, one. No, Simpson. Ah! And. Uh, let's do 13. Okay, so 13. I'm going, I'm skipping to 13 because you guys, all the rest are, they're pretty straightforward. I mean, I don't know. 13 is usually the hardest. So now here's my, it's not an arithmetic. So someone, the other one's geometric, but this one's not geometric either. So I have 2n over n plus 2. Okay, so now again, all you have to do to find the first, what they want, the first six terms, n, first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, sixth term. Okay, so what am I going to do? 2n over n plus 2 is what I'm going to put in. I should have put that there. You put the equation right here. And so for the first term, you plug in, right? For the first term, that means I say 2 times 1 over 1 plus 2, right? I plug in 1 for my n. 2 times 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3, so I got 2 thirds. There's your, that's all you have to do. Just plug it in. My second term, f of 2, is 2 times 2 over 2 plus 2, which equals 4 over 4, which equals 1, okay? Third, fourth, fifth, and sixth term. Okay. I'm, I'm going to have you go. Okay. Let's go with Alexis. Alexis Romero. Yeah. Find the third term. Anthony yeah. Campos. Anthony Campos. Yeah. Fourth term. Find the fourth term. Brianna. Yeah. Fifth term. Okay. Camila. Yeah. Sixth term. All right, guys. Now these are all. The, this is a hint for you guys. Everyone, do the pick one or do all of them, you guys. As um. Alexis, Anthony, Brianna, and Camila, let us know. Alexis, do you know the third term yet? Six over five. Six over five, 100% correct. Six, six over five. Thank you, Alexis. Very good. Strong work, strong work. Woo! Alexis, okay, let's see. Uh, Anthony, what'd you get for the fourth term? Uh, eight over six. Can you reduce that? Um, four over three. Yes! Woo! Anthony, um, Brianna, fifth term. 10 over 7. Yes, very good, Brianna. Woo! <laughs> Camila. 12 over 8. Uh, reduce it. Uh... Um, that would be three over, no, no, that would be four over, uh. <laughs> They're both divisible by, what are they both divisible by? Um, by four. All right, 12 divided by four, eight divided by four is three over two. two yeah. I think that's right. And then I'm checking. Wait. Camila, yeah, strong, strong work, strong, strong. I'm sorry. Nikander, was that awkward?
All right. Was that awkward? Was that weird that I did that? Kind of. Okay, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Teachers should not pose in front of their students. I think I crossed the line a little bit there. I think I shouldn't have done that. Erase that from your minds, okay? Erase it from your minds. Do me a favor, okay? Kyle, you got to erase that from your mind, man. Were you traumatized? I'm sorry, Kyle. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, you can just erase it, man. Just erase it from your mind. Get it out of there. All right. We, I can assign the count. You need to talk to the counselor. I can, I can send her over. Maybe I should do a group counseling session. I'll have to I'll have resume all you guys. You know. All right. Here we go. All right. Let's go with uh, fifteen. Okay. So fifteen. Let's look at the. Let's look at the. Um, let's look at the. Let's look at the instructions. Think you guys come to the instructions yourself on fifteen. Okay. Describe the pattern. Write the next term. Write a rule for the nth term of the sequence. Okay. So basically, we want to write a rule for this. We want to write a rule for it. A rule. Okay. We want to write a rule. So we have 1, 6, 11, and 16. Okay, so what, what are they doing here is what they're saying. What is, what, is the what is the sequence? Okay, so basically, like on the other ones, how we did n plus 2, we did 2n over n plus 2. So what's going on here? Sensei, you're not making any sense. I know, I know. So I have here 1, 6, 11, and 16. And then it goes dot, 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 forever. We have to figure out the next term. So here's, okay, here's what I mean by what is the rule or what they mean. Okay, let's call this N. We want to write the rule here. Now, this is going to be weird. Write one, two, three. We got one, two, three, four. Okay, very carefully. Leave a blank here. Actually, let's write this as the zero term. No, let's leave it blank. Leave it blank for now, and I'll explain what I'm going to do. Let's leave it blank. I think it'll make more sense for you guys. I have one, two, three, four. This is the first term, second term, third term, fourth term. They want to know what the fifth term is. So the first term is one. The second term is six. The third term is 11. The fourth term is 16. This is the first term, term number one. What is the fifth term is what they want to know. And what is the rule? Okay. So what they mean by the rule, I'm going to say this in a word because I don't know how to say it. But how do I make one turn into one? And that same pattern means how do I make two turn into six? How do I make three turn into 11? And they, you're doing the same thing to all of them. I do the same thing to one to turn it to one. I do the same thing to two to turn it to six. I do the same thing to three to turn it to 11. I do the same thing to four to turn it to 16. And then I'm going to do that to five to get that number there. That's what they mean. So let's look at this for a second. What's the pattern? Sensei, you're confusing me. Just hang in there. Now, the way you can look at this is let's look at, if I just look at from one to six, how do I go from one to six? What am I doing there? How do I make one become six? Um, five. Yeah, there you go. Add five. I add five. Now, if I do the same thing from six to 11, I'm doing really good. How do I go from six to 11? You add five. 11 to 16. So on all of these, I am going to add five. It's an addition of five. Because I'm adding, I'm repeating addition. Repeated addition is multiplication. Now, you don't have to, what do you mean by that, Sensei? Well, right? Repeated multiplication, right? 5 is 1 times 5. 5 plus 5 is 2 times, you don't have to write this down. Don't write this down. 5 plus 5 is 2 times 5, right? That's what it is. 5 plus 5 plus 5, which is 15, is 3 times 5, right? Adding 5 3 times. That's what multiplication is. So what I'm doing here to get to 16 is I add 5 3 times, and it's multiplication. So what that means 
as part of my pattern, all that I'm saying is if you have a plus five, if you go, see I go five plus five plus five, if you see this pattern where I add five, it's gonna be five times N. To get my rule. Now, I know what you're saying. Five times one is not one, and it's five. Five times two is 10, three times five is 15, but how do I get 11? Well couple ways you can look at this. Let me ask you something. If this is one, if I'm adding five, what would, if I was to ask for a zero term, what number would I make here to make this answer go good? What, what, what should I put in there if I got a zero term there? If I was to go backwards, what would my zero term be if I was to put that in? Okay, yeah. think about it. I'm going to call on one of you. No one answer it. I'm going to call on one of you. What would the zero term be? I'm going to call on someone who I can't see, whether your camera's off or if I just see your ceiling fan or something. I am going to call on you, or if I just see your ceiling, or if I just see the letter A, or if I just see your curtain with pictures, or if I just see, maybe I'll top of heads I might let go by. If I see your fire alarm, your smoke detector in the ceiling, if I see that, if I see, I don't know what that is, but let's go with Liz. What's my zero term going to be? Uh, I'm not sure. Hold on. Wait, let me check my notes. No, 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 Liz. Look with me. Okay, Liz, you said I go, I go one plus five is six, right? Mm -hmm. And then six plus five is 11, right? Mm -hmm. 11 plus five is 16. Mm -hmm. What if I went backwards? How do I go from 16 to 11? What do I do? Subtract five. Okay. 11 take away five is six, right? Mm -hmm. Six take away five is one. Mm -hmm. Negative four. Yes. My zero term is negative four. You guys with us there? Now that helps us figure out the rule. Guess what our rule is? Let me open my notes. <laughs> five n minus. Never four. called. Me. Liz, you're, Liz, you, do you have a question? Do you get it? Yeah. All right. Cool. So that's my rule. Five n minus four. Now you might be saying to yourself. What the heck is he talking about? Well, my rule is five. I'm going to erase this because I don't need it. That means if I plug in one into this equation, I should get one. Let's see if that's true. Instead of five n minus four, let's five times one minus four. What's five times one? Five minus four is one. Boom. Five times two minus four. Five times two is 10 minus four is boom, six. Five times three minus four. Five times three is 15 minus four is, boom, 11. Get it? So what's the fifth term? Even though we know we're gonna add five, I should also be able to go five times five minus four. What is my fifth term? Let's see, who do I not see? Uh, let's see, I got 34, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty-seven. Oh, let me try something here. Change the layout. How's oh, this forty-two? I don't know. It doesn't have it all. All right, Anthony. What's my fifth term? Uh, 21. There you go. So fifth term is 21. So we got the rule, and we described the pattern. I multiply by 5. I take away 4. Fifth term is 21. And then you'll be able to figure out the hundredth term. You just plug in 100, right? Okay, so let's look at – okay, so now some of these get kind of crazy. I'm going to look at – let's look at 21. Actually, you know what? How are we doing on time? 106. 
I want you guys to do this pattern. Let's see, that was 15. Nah. Let's do 17. Okay, let's do 17. Because it's starting to does that's an easy, that's a very easy one. Now I have 3.1, I have 3.8, I have 4.5, and then 5.2. Let's draw our table. Okay, so I have my first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term. Here's my n. What's my rule? So my first term is 3.1, second term is 3.8, third term is 4.5, fourth term is 5.2. Okay, how do I go from here to here to here to here? 3.1 to 3.8 to 4.5 to 5.2. How do I do it? How do I do it? How do I do it? What am I doing? I go 3.1, 4.8, right? 4.5, how do I do it? Danielle, what am I doing? 3.1 to 3.8, 4 4.5, 5.2. Danielle? Ramirez? Oh, you add point 0.7. Yeah, I'm adding point 0.7. So I'm going to go zero points plus zero point seven plus zero point seven plus zero point seven. So what's that mean? I'm going to do to my end. So what do I do to the end? What do I multiply n by? I just gave you a big hint. What do I multiply n by, Nikander? What do I multiply n by? Uh... Point seven. Zero point seven times n. And now figure out the zero term and figure out where you're going to add it to or subtract it to. Okay, find the zero term and then that'll be your rule. That's all you got to do. Okay, what's the zero term? I'm going to ask one of you. Uh, what is the zero term? 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 The zero term. The zero term. The zero term. Zero term. Ah. Oh. Ah. Connor, I'm playing with your, your sound bars there. I'm trying to make them go big. Oh. Is it loudness or is it... The vol is it the volume or is it how high I go? I'll sing really low. Bah. Ah. Now do it soft. Bah. Now loud. Loud! I think it's volume, Connor. I think it is. All right. Uh, let's go with... Um, I had someone I wanted to call. Uh, Alexis Romero, what is my zero term, Alexis? And then what is my pattern? 4. What? 2.4. 2.4, so I got a positive 2.4. So my zero term is 2.4, so it's plus 2.4. And that's my rule. Okay? So if you got the fifth term, you can add 0.7, but you can also go 0 0.7 times 5 plus 2.4. And then you'll figure out that the fifth term is five point nine. Okay, so anyway, that's how you do it. Are we good? Raise your hand if you. I get that so far, Sensei. Put your hand in front of the camera. I get it, Sensei. All right, lots of hands. I love it. Makes me feel like I'm doing a, a good job, but maybe it's you guys are the ones that are doing a good job. I'm going to go with some fractions. I'm going to go with um, 21. Let's look at 21, okay? Now, the answers are in 
like on your in your canvas so you can just go ahead and get the answers there just get the answers you know what i mean and then that'll help you with these right the answer is if you get stuck look at your answers i'm going to do 21. i'll skip 19. do 21. Twenty-one. Twenty-one John Street. I have one fourth. I have two fourths. I have three fourths. I have four fourths. So I'm gonna go uh let's do our table. First term. One whoops. No. Wrote it wrong. First term, first term, one fourth. Second term, two fourths. Third term, this one isn't that bad, it's just a fraction. Fourth term, four fourths. What is the fifth term, question mark, and zero term, what's my rule? I'm gonna give you guys like 30 seconds to try to do this on your own, okay? Even though there's a fraction, all you have to do, what am I adding to it, right? Try to solve it. And then I'll just go and solve it. I'll just knock it out. Twenty-seven. 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 27, 27 students, 27, what is the rule, 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 what is a zero term? Zero term. What is a zero term? What is a zero term? What is a zero term? Estrella, what's a zero term? What is the rule? What is the rule? Estrella. Estrella, what is the term? Estrella, can you hear me or no? Yeah, sorry. What's a zero term? Um, zero. Yeah. Okay. Very good. And uh, Eduardo, what am I adding to all of these? Um, a, a quarter each one. Yeah, adding one fourth. Okay. So what is my rule? We have all the information we need. Um, let's go with. Let's see. Uh, Melissa. Give me the whole, what is my rule? One fourth N. Yeah. That's it. Plus zero is just one fourth N. Zero term is zero. So I'm adding by one fourth. Fifth term is five over four. Boom. Boom, boom, baby. boom, 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 boom. Boom, 23's kind of crazy. And then 25. But look at, you guys know how to find the answers. Uh, what is the rule? What is the rule? What is the rule? What is the rule? What is the now some of these don't follow that pattern. Okay, so like 20, let me do 25 real quick. I'll just show you it because this, this is an arithmetic sequence where they just add, but they don't always are not nice and neat where you just add one fourth or add three or or subtract whatever. Let, I'm just going to show you real quick 25. Okay, the, let me, let's look at this sequence. Okay, so 25. And then tomorrow we're going to talk about series. Remember, tomorrow's a minimum day. Tomorrow's a minimum day. So 25, the sequence is, this is 25. I have two comma nine comma 28 comma 
60. Now this, you're just going to have to figure out the pattern in your head, okay? This is not as straightforward. Because look, um, the zero term doesn't help us in this. It's not arithmetic, but I'm going to write it anyway. First term is 2. Second term is 9. Third term is 28. Fourth term is 65. Fifth term is whatever. And zero term, not really going to help. But you can see, well, I'll pause so you guys can catch up. What is the rule? What is the rule? What is the rule? Well, this one you can see, okay, well, sensei, we are adding 7 to this, and this one I'm adding uh, 19, and then this, they're different than 19, I think that's right, and whatever I'm adding to here, 28, what is that, uh, 20, 30, Three, forty-three. The thirty-three or forty-three? Seven. Thirty-seven? Sorry, I was way off. But the point is you can't see, I'm not adding the same thing. So that rule what I showed you before is not gonna work. So you kind of have to like kind of like figure out, okay, what's going on here? And you got to kind of like mess with the pattern and say, okay, well, this is like one, eight. You know what these numbers are close to? Like I'm thinking, okay, so you got to figure out, does anyone know what this pattern, what's going on here? What do I do to one to get two? What do I do to two to get nine? What do I do to three? So this one, you just kind of have to like see the pattern, visual, visualize it. They just have to, you have to know, I'm either squaring or cubing. I'll give you a hint. 1, 8, 27, 64. How do I make 1 into 1? How to make 2 into 8? How to make 3 into 27? How to make 4 into 64? And I do the same thing to all of those. How to make one into one, how to make two into eight, how to make three into 27, and four into 64. And then five will be 125, I think. Is that pattern? Anyone know? Someone speak up so we can move on. Who knows what's going on so we can move on? What's going on? It's uh, n cubed plus one. Yes, very good, Kyle. I'm actually cubing this. One cubed is one, but then I'm going to add one to it to get two. Two cubed is eight, and then I add one to it. So Kyle is right. So it's going to be n cubed plus one. And then, you know, five cubed is 125 plus one is one, 126. But check out check out the solutions to help you guys figure out those patterns. If you to, try to do it on your own, but if you totally get stuck, look at the solutions. What is the rule? What is the rule? What is tomorrow's a minimum day? I got I got to remind myself because I got to get in here earlier than normal, right? Because I don't have first period, and I, I normally come in at ten. But, okay, let's look at 27. Which rule gives the total number of squares in the nth figure of the pattern shown and justified? So basically, I want to plug in 1 and get 1. I want to plug in 2 and get 3. I want to plug in 3 and get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? 
So there's six, if I plug in one, there's one square. I have the number two, the second term has three squares. The third term has one, two, three, four, five, six, has six squares. The fourth term has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's ten squares. Which one of these would it be? Well, if I plug in one here, three times one is three minus three is zero. So it's not A. The first one already doesn't work. Letter B. Four times one is four minus five is negative one. It is not B. Uh, could it be C? One, plug in one, and I get one. Plug in two. So that one works. Plug in, this is one equals one. If I plug in two, then two equals two. Nope, it should equal three. So let's try D. Plug in one. One plus one is one, right? Times one. One plus one is two, times one is two, divided by two is one. Plug in two, so it's gonna be D. Ah, does that make sense? Plug in two, two plus one is three, times two is six, divided by two is three, right? So it's gonna be D, because you have here, I guess I should draw it out. I feel like I'm just showing you guys, it's kind of like not making sense. Let me just draw it out. This is 20, let, let me see. Richard, if that makes sense, or do I need to draw it out? I'm I, I'm gonna look at you guys. Hang on, wait. Let me look at look at all you guys. Okay, raise your hand if that makes sense. You don't need to draw it, Sensei. It makes sense to me. If I don't see hands up, I'm gonna I'm gonna go over it, which is fine. Okay, I see half of you do not raise your hand, so I am gonna teach. Since half of you don't know it, I am going to teach it. So. I have here, here's my pattern. My first term is one square. My second term, I got one, two, three squared. My third term, I got one, two, three, and I got one, two, and I got this. And then my fourth term, do I want to draw that? Hang on, I'm still drawing it. Okay, so, and then I'm saying it's D, because it's, and I'm just writing all this stuff down so I can, N times N plus one all over two, okay? What is my pattern, base of N? Okay, I'm, I'm back, okay. So I drew it all out. Look, I drew it all out. Look how cool I am. So let's make a little table so we can focus on what's going on here. I have here on my table, I have my uh, first term. I don't need to do this because second term, third term, fourth term. And my first term, I have one square. So I should, first term should equal one. My second term, I have one, two, three squares. So my second term should be three. My third term, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six squares. My fourth term, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten. Okay, so I'm saying that D is going to work, right? Let's see if D works. So if I plug in one, I should get one. Let's do one times one plus one all over two. 1 plus 1 is 2 times 1 is 2 over 2, and I get 1. So that looks good so far. My second term is 2 times 2 plus 1 all over 2. 2 plus 1 is 3 times 2 is 6 divided by 2, 6 over 2, and I got 3. Boom, that works, right? They should all work, so it's going to be D. D is going to be my pattern. I mean, you can plug in 3 if we want one times three plus one all over two three plus one is four divided by wait three plus one is oh i'm sorry it's supposed to be three here three plus one is four times three is 12 divided by two is six 
Boom, that works too. Okay, so that's your answer. Anyway, that's 27. That helps us. That's a multiple choice. Hopefully you can see why it's D. I don't know. Are there any questions on that? I feel like I'm spending too much time on that one. And then we're going to stop at 29. I don't know if I should just let you guys do 29. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, modeling with mathematics. Rectangular tables are play. Oh, look, I need to present. Sorry. Rectangular tables are placed together along their short edges as shown in the diagram. Write a rule for the number of people that can be seated around end tables arranged in this pattern. Okay, so you can see the first term, the rule. So the number of people are how many chairs there are going to be, right? The first term is going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, six people. But then you add another one and you take away a chair and you add one over here. So six, you got 10. And then this one, right? So let's see if we can figure out the pattern here. So I'll let you guys, I'll get you started and then if you guys want to continue, you can. But I'm writing on the board as I'm looking at the problem here. So I can see, I'm just going to make, write my terms based on chairs. Okay, my first term, two tables, three tables. Okay, so the first table has six people. The second table, I'm looking at the tables, I'm counting them out. We got one, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten. The second table, I have ten. The third one, I have one, two, I have 14. Now, can I, am I, This one's actually pretty darn easy. Every time, actually, I think, should I let you guys want to show you? Do you guys see the pattern here? You can see that each one of these I'm adding by four. So what's my zero term? And then you can figure out that was what I did at the beginning of the class. That's it. I'll let you guys figure that out. You guys figure that out on your own. This is all you did at the beginning of class. Same thing. Same thing at the beginning of class. You guys have any questions? I don't have anything else. We're going to stop at 29. We'll do the rest tomorrow. There's no check your understanding today. You guys are good. That's it. If you have questions about the test from yesterday, see me after class. Juniors. Make sure, actually, juniors stay after class, too. Let me talk to the juniors. And if you're absent, you stay after class. Juniors, please stay after class. I won't be much long for the juniors. All juniors, I'll handle you first. Okay? Um, and if, I, if, you're, if, you're, if you're late, I marked you absent, so stay after class. Okay, so juniors stay. Everyone else, are there any questions? I love you. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Juniors, stay real quick, though. See you guys tomorrow. Bye, Lilia. Bye, Danielle. Bye, Jada. Bye, Nikander. Bye, Connor. Bye, Navid. I love you, Navid. Okay, juniors, just real quick. All I need you to do is check to see. Right, raise your hand if you already saw the Google Classroom. If you have your Google Classroom, I'm in it. I'm done. Okay, if you got your Google Classroom, you can get out of here. Don't worry about it. If uh, 
you can go. I'll see you guys. If you need help with your Google Classroom, let me know. And uh, otherwise, I'll see you. Um, and then people who are, I marked absent, make sure you stay. Okay. Okay. Who is here? Who, who did I mark absent? Me. Who is that? I'm not looking at you right now. I'm just in my attendance. Alexander Garcia. All right. Oh, yeah, Alex, you came. You came. Uh, I remember you coming in late. Um, me too, Kimberly Garcia. Who is that? Kimberly Garcia. Kimberly. All right, Kimberly. Are you guys related? <laughs> no. Huh? All right. No. All right. We're just wondering. You're both late and you have the same last name. All right. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Unless you have questions.